redecorated the walls in the basement. They missed one crucial step. Anytime you have lumber making contact with a concrete basement floor, you need to use pressure treated lumber or the moisture is going to rot the bottom piece. As you can see, I'm going to take out this wall and shift everything inside a little bit, adding a few extra feet of space over here. And I'm going to make sure I use pressure treated wood on the bottom piece. So the middle part, you say? Yeah. That's where the walls are going to go. It's going to be a soffit. Oh, yeah. I've been working on the soffit. I used compressed plywood, some 2 by 2s for support, and some 2 by 4s here. I made it come down all the way to the bottom of the duct, about 9.5 inches, so we can slide a drywall right underneath. Started doing the drywall. had a few cracks in it which before we finish the insulation and the drywall and everything we're gonna get these patched up they're gonna come in here and eject epoxy into these cracks and really seal these two pieces of foundation together because this crack runs from the top to the bottom and the foundation is almost like two separate pieces the injection the epoxy injection is gonna it's going to bond it so it's one piece. We have this crack here, and we have another crack over there, which we'll show you soon. And we have just these two tie rods here. That and that. These are minor repairs. 
Um, we're gonna have the company, we already paid the deposit, they're gonna come out here. They said it's gonna take about one man, four hours. been 72 hours we've given the epoxy sufficient time to dry and now I'm gonna cut off these injection ports with the sawzall This is just gonna be the storage area. Put a little door here. You always get some drywall up here. What's this called? Faucet. I painted the window, put on the casing, looks good. Now I'm just gonna add some trims along the edge. Did this window, and this window. <laughs> 